All right, family, it is Wednesday, May 10th, 2023, and that means it is time for the dreaded post-birthday weigh-in. If you are new here, my name is Jonathan, and I created this channel as a way to record my progress as I work towards my goal of losing 300 pounds. When I started this challenge in November of 2020, I had a starting weight of 519.8 pounds. I knew I needed to do something about my health. I had been suffering from sleep apnea for years. I had severe swelling around my calves and my ankles, suffered from chronic fatigue and a host of other undiagnosed medical conditions. And at 38 years old, my wife and my family deserved better from me. So I started this challenge with two goals in mind. The first goal was to lose more weight than I had ever considered losing before and to get to a lighter weight than I had ever been. In the past, I would set these goals that I always thought were realistic. You know, let's see how much weight I can lose before this event next week or try to lose 50 pounds. Or a big one for me has always been, let me see what I can do to get under 300 pounds. And I would set these goals and many times I would achieve them, but then I would let off of on the diet and I would always go back to the way that I used to eat before the diet or sometimes even worse than I was eating before I started the diet. And I realized that, you know, I would reach those goals, but I was really just a less fat version of my previous self. I wasn't necessarily more healthy, um, even though I weighed less. And this time I wanted to reach a weight that I've always thought was impossible, you know, forcing me to keep at it and to keep going for as long as possible and not give myself that reason to let up. The second goal was to focus on my health and well being longer than I had ever done in the past. Many times in the past, I would set a weight goal but I wouldn't give any consideration to a time goal. And I looked at my history of diets and I realized that I wasn't really ever able to sustain any of them. I would do well for a few weeks or even a few months, but I never kept at any of the diets that I did in the past for longer than maybe 10 months or a year at most. And I would lose weight on those diets, but eventually they would fail and I'd end up going back to my old habits. So I knew I needed to challenge myself to do this for longer than I've ever done it in the past. And I thought if I challenged myself to do it for three years, that would give me the opportunity or the chance to learn what I needed to do. And even if I didn't do the right thing at the beginning, if I continued to focus on my health and well being, that I would make adjustments throughout that three year period that would lead me to that healthfulness that I am looking for in the end. So, with those goals in mind, I began my challenge. And it hasn't been without difficulty, but so far, through a combination of extended water fasting and an adherence to a whole food, plant based, diet with no added salt, oil, or sugar, I have been able to go from 519.8 pounds down to 269.4, yes, 269.4, bringing my total weight loss to 250.4 pounds. That puts me less than 10 pounds away from being half of the weight that I was when I started this. And I'm also less than 50 pounds away from my goal. So now 921 days after starting and just a few days after my birthday, 
it's time for me to hop on the scale and see how we did this past week. Like I said last week, I had a weight of 269.4. Let's go ahead and see how we did this week. Two hundred and sixty five point two. That is an incredible four point two pound weight loss this week. That is so amazing. I'm incredibly happy. Two hundred and sixty. What did I say? Two hundred sixty five point two pounds. So that puts me at just over five pounds away from being halfway there and at about 45 pounds away from my goal weight. I'm so happy to have a four pound weight loss. My birthday week, my birthday was last Friday and I lost four pounds this week. And like I said earlier, it's so empowering to get through a huge event like my birthday and to succeed on that, you know, I'm so happy, you know, because, you know, anytime you have a big event like a birthday, there's a concern that you will give in and you'll give yourself a reason to stray from your diet. But when you can succeed through that event, it's incredibly empowering and it makes it so much easier the next time that event happens. When my birthday comes up again next year, I'm gonna be able to look back and say, you know, you lost four pounds last time. You can get through your birthday. You can kick butt on your birthday. And, and I went back and I looked at my videos from before. My birthday last year when I turned 40, I lost seven pounds that week. So my birthday weeks are not to be dreaded anymore. They're to be celebrated. I'm losing weight during my birthday weeks these last few years. And that is incredible for me. So thank you guys so much for all of the support that you've given me throughout this whole challenge that I've been doing for, you know, I would not have been able to lose over 250 pounds so far if it wasn't for the support that you guys give me and the support of my family and friends as well. So I really appreciate you guys. Um, I, um, I will be going live this afternoon uh, like I do every weekday or most weekdays. I go live at 4 p.m. Central Time. So if you'd like to join me, ask me questions, find out what's going on with my diet, joining those live streams is a great way to do that. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you get subscribed to the channel. If you've not clicked on the bell icon to get alerted when I go live or post new videos, I'd really love it if you did that. And I would really appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up on this video. Let's see how many likes we can get on this four pound weight loss this week, guys. Thank you so much. And if you have not started your diet yet, get started right now. There's nothing coming up that's more important than your health and your overall well being. And nobody reaches their goals, looks back, and wishes they would have waited. Everybody looks back and says, man, I wish I would have gotten started sooner. If I knew how good I was gonna feel, I would have done this years ago. And I'm not even to my goal yet, and I still wish I would have started this sooner. So you guys all have a great afternoon, and we will see you next time.